On October 23rd, while driving through Zuhui District, Shanghai, a Li Automega electric MPV suddenly burst into flames. Witnesses said there was no collision, yet the fire spread rapidly from beneath the vehicle, right where the CATL lithium battery pack was installed. Incidents like this remind us of one uncomfortable truth. Lithium batteries still burn, no matter how advanced the EV looks. But what if Elon Musk found a battery that's clean, cheap, non-flammable, and recyclable forever? Would you believe that could be the end of lithium? Behind the scenes, aluminum-ion technology is emerging as one of the most promising candidates, a potential game-changer that could rewrite how electric cars are built and recycled. In today's video, we'll break down why aluminum-ion might change everything, from EV fire safety to cost, battery lifespan, and even the future of raw materials. So if you want to stay ahead while the EV world is shifting fast, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell icon, and help Auto Gear Shift hit 15,579 subscribers. Let's shift gears and dive in. What's wrong with lithium-ion batteries today? For more than 10 years, lithium-ion batteries have powered Tesla's rise, from the early Model S to the upcoming Model 2. But behind their success lies a growing list of problems that can no longer be ignored. Let's start with how lithium is mined. To extract just one ton of lithium, companies need over 2 million liters of water, about 530,000 gallons, roughly what 10 average families use in a full year. Most of this mining happens in South America's Lithium Triangle, stretching across Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina one of the driest regions on Earth. Farmers there say groundwater levels have dropped by up to 50% in some areas, and soil salinity is rising, making crops like corn and potatoes harder to grow. Every new battery factory that opens means more pressure on already limited water resources. Then comes the problem of recycling. Despite all the talk about green energy, only about 5% of the world's lithium batteries are fully recycled. The rest, nearly 95%, end up buried in landfills or incinerated, because separating materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel costs more than mining new ones. A typical EV battery can weigh 400 to 600 kilograms, 880 to 1,300 pounds. And when it's dumped, those heavy metals don't just disappear. They can leak into soil and groundwater for decades. Safety is another concern. Lithium-ion batteries store massive amounts of energy in a small space. When a single cell fails or overheats, temperatures can reach 400 to 500 degrees Celsius, 750 to 930 degrees Fahrenheit, within seconds, hot enough to melt aluminum and ignite surrounding materials. That's why EV fires often spread fast and are extremely difficult to put out. Firefighters in several countries now use special immersion containers, essentially giant water tanks, to submerge burning EVS for hours just to cool them down. And then there's the supply chain. More than 70% of lithium and nearly 60% of cobalt, both key materials in Tesla's current batteries, come from China, Chile, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. These are politically sensitive regions where production is vulnerable to strikes, export bans, or environmental restrictions. When lithium demand exploded between 2020 and 2022, prices rose five-fold, pushing up EV costs worldwide and forcing many automakers to delay affordable models. Lithium-ion batteries have taken us far. They made electric vehicles possible. But their water footprint, fire risk, Recycling limits and supply chain dependence show that this technology can't sustain the next generation of mass-market EVS. For Tesla, the future has to be cleaner, safer, and less fragile. And that's exactly where aluminum ion comes in next. So now let me ask you this. If you had to choose the battery for your next electric car, comment lithium or aluminum to let us know. Let's see which side is the final winner. And don't forget to share why in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and real-world opinions. Why is aluminum ion considered the green battery? If the world wants electric cars that are truly clean, not just at the tailpipe, 
then the biggest change has to start inside the battery. That's where aluminum ion steps in, and it's earning the nickname green battery for good reason. First, aluminum is everywhere. It's the second most abundant metal on Earth, making up about 8% of the planet's crust right after iron. You can find it in rocks, clay, and even in recycled scrap metal. Unlike lithium, which is mined mostly in South America and Australia, nearly every country can produce or recycle aluminum locally. That means no single nation controls the supply chain and the risk of price spikes or shortages, like we saw with lithium, becomes almost zero. Second, aluminum is one of the most recyclable materials ever created. It can be recycled 100% without losing quality, and it can be reused an unlimited number of times. The best part? Recycling aluminum takes only about 5% of the energy needed to make new aluminum from raw ore. In practical terms, if the battery industry switched from lithium to aluminum, global energy use for making batteries could drop by over 90%. That's not just a technical improvement. It could save billions of kilowatt hours of electricity every year and cut millions of tons of carbon dioxide emissions from metal refining and transport. Third, aluminum ion batteries are free of cobalt and nickel, two of the most controversial metals in modern batteries. Mining cobalt often takes place in unsafe conditions, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where reports show tens of thousands of workers, including children, exposed to toxic dust and accidents. Nickel mining also creates acidic waste that contaminates rivers and farmland. By removing both, aluminum ion avoids one of the biggest environmental and ethical problems in the EV industry. When it comes to safety, Aluminum ion chemistry is on another level. Instead of using flammable organic solvents like in lithium ion cells, aluminum batteries use solid electrolytes or stable ionic liquids, substances that don't ignite even when heated. Tests show that when an aluminum ion cell is punctured or crushed, it only gets warm, typically under 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and does not catch fire. In comparison, a damaged lithium-ion cell can quickly hit 400 to 500 degrees Celsius, 750 to 930 degrees Fahrenheit, and burst into flames within seconds. Another advantage, aluminum-ion batteries don't release hydrogen fluoride, a poisonous gas that forms when lithium-ion batteries burn. All of this adds up to one clear conclusion. Aluminum-ion batteries are not just another new technology. They are a cleaner, safer, and far more sustainable option. With abundant raw materials, infinite recyclability, and almost zero fire risk, this chemistry could allow Tesla and the entire EV industry to finally move beyond lithium towards a battery future that's better for both drivers and the planet. What happens if Tesla adopts aluminum ion? If Tesla truly brings aluminum ion batteries into its production line, it could trigger the biggest shift in the electric vehicle market since the birth of the Model 3. The most immediate effect would be price. Right now, the battery pack alone accounts for up to 40% of an EV's total cost. For example, the average lithium ion battery costs about $110 to $130 per kilowatt hour, depending on chemistry and source. Aluminum ion batteries, because they use cheaper raw materials and simpler recycling processes, could lower that cost by roughly 25%. That means the upcoming Tesla Model 2, expected to use a 40 kilowatt hour pack, might see its battery cost drop from about $5,000 to closer to $3,700. With that savings, Tesla could realistically sell the Model 2 for around $13,500 becoming the first automaker in the world to launch a fully electric car under $15,000. For comparison, even the cheapest BYD Dolphin Mini in China still costs around $16,000 to $17,000, and most Western EVs are double that. If Tesla manages to break this barrier, it could open the EV market to millions of new buyers worldwide, especially those who previously couldn't afford an electric car. 
The second major impact is waste reduction. A single electric vehicle typically carries a battery pack weighing between 400 and 600 kilograms, 880 to 1,320 pounds. As global EV sales surpass 15 million units per year, that's roughly 7 to 9 million tons of new batteries entering circulation annually. Today, less than 5% of lithium-based batteries are recycled properly, meaning most of that material becomes landfill or industrial waste. But if Tesla switches to aluminum ion, which can be recycled infinitely without losing quality, those same tons of used batteries could be melted, purified, and returned directly to gigafactory production lines. In theory, this could eliminate millions of tons of waste every year and create the world's first zero-waste battery manufacturing loop. This also ties into Tesla's long-term cost strategy. Recycling aluminum uses only 5% of the energy required to refine new aluminum from ore, which means Tesla could drastically cut both energy bills and carbon emissions across its factories. Instead of depending on mines in Chile, Congo, or Indonesia, where labor and environmental issues often raise controversy, Tesla could source most of its aluminum domestically or from recycled scrap metal. That's not just good for the planet, it's good business. Localized supply means fewer shipping costs, fewer political risks, and far more stable production planning. And if Tesla proves this system works, the ripple effect across the industry would be unavoidable. Competitors like BYD, Ford, and Rivian would have no choice but to follow because consumers and investors alike will demand cleaner, cheaper, and safer batteries. Within just a few years, possibly by 2026 or 2027, the global EV battery market could start shifting away from lithium toward aluminum-based solutions. So if Elon Musk succeeds in scaling aluminum-ion technology, it won't just lower EV prices, it could redefine the entire meaning of clean energy. From reducing costs and pollution to cutting the world's battery waste to nearly zero, Tesla's move could signal the beginning of the end for lithium's 30-year reign. How about you? Would you trust an aluminum-ion Tesla if it means zero fire risk and lower prices? Or do you believe lithium still has room to improve before we move on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every one of them. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our next deep dive into the future of Tesla technology.